guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe click on the notification bell so that you can get notifications once a video pop up so in today's video we are going to be making a simple video on how to achieve your off shoulder bustier with a shape mermaid dress okay so we have off shoulder bustier with a shape mermaid dress and in this a shape mermaid dress we are going to be combining two fabrics together so if you're interested in learning how to combine two fabrics for your mermaid a shape dress then this video is for you now what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your off shoulder a shape mermaid dress so we have our bust measurements which is 46 so we have 46 6 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 13 our waist is 39 39 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12.25 our hip is 50 inches 50 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 14. Our shoulder measurement is 18 inches. So we have 18 divided by 2, we have 9. Our gown length is 65. Now, this is like a very long mermaid dress, like I said earlier. And we have from our shoulder measurement to our desired length to give us 65 inches. So you will go ahead now and deduct your half length. Your half length is simply from your shoulder measurement to about 2 inches above your navel. So for you to get your half length now, so we have our half length. We have our half length which is 17 inches for our half length now the calculation of your half length is basically just to add one inch for your sewing allowance because you will need about half inch to attach it to your a-shaped dress and also about half inch to attach it with your shoulder so we have 17 plus one we have 18 inches for our half length now for the gown length now we have 65 inches We'll go ahead and deduct our half length from it in order for us to know the amount of fabric we will need for the A line. Because like I said earlier, I said for the gown length, which is the total gown length, we have 65 inches, which is from the shoulder to our desired length. Now we've gone ahead to deduct our half length, which is about 2 inches above our navel. We have 17 inches plus 1 inch for our sewing allowance. We have 18 inches. Now, so we are going to make use of this 18 inches for the off shoulder part of this dress. Now, in order for you to know the amount of the measurements, in order for you to know the measurements you will need for the A-line part of the dress, you will go ahead and deduct your half length from your desired gown length. So our half length now is 17 and our gown length is 65. We have 65 minus 65 minus 17 inches. We have 45 inches. Now this 45 inches will go ahead and add 2 inches for our allowance. So we are going to have 47 inches. So it simply means that for our A-line part of the dress, we'll have 47 inches. And why for the upper part of the dress, we are going to have 18 inches so don't forget to turn on your notification bell and you can also join us for training so trainings are available both online training and physical training all the details are going to be in the description box below and don't forget to also join us on our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website i'm going to go ahead and put down the link in the description box below with me here I have this pattern paper so this pattern paper you can see how long it is so this pattern paper is about 60 inches long you can see it's actually very long and it comes in a bundle right it comes in a bundle and this pattern mask this pattern paper are available at our store now one reason why you should have this pattern paper is when you are dealing with styles that requires long length 
such as today's tutorial where we have about 65 inches for our gown length you can achieve like your straight gown length making use of this pattern paper right because this pattern paper is about 60 inches and it's actually very long so you can achieve like your total gown length on this pattern paper without having to join pattern papers together and that is so amazing when you are dealing with pattern drafting and also it comes in have this pattern paper now one thing about this pattern paper is it's about 60 inches long and so nice and it comes in a bundle so when you're we are, we are dealing with styles that require long length like today's tutorial where we have about 65 inches you, you will discover that you need such pattern papers that are, that are actually very long so that you can achieve like your desired length on one pattern paper and it's so amazing so the details on how to get this pattern paper is going to be in the description box below so you have to do now is we are going to go ahead and take our basic measurements right so we have our shoulder to arm or nine and a half shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to under bust 14 and a half shoulder to waist 18 inches Waist to upper hip 6 inches, waist to lower hip 8 inches, waist to your knee length 18 inches and of course we have our gown length which is 65 inches. So we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. Marking the lines together, the next thing we are going to do now is we'll go ahead and take our dart measurement which is 4 and half. So mark our dart measurement 4.5, mark our dart measurement 4.5, up to our upper hip, right? So we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. So on our waistline, we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides for our waistline. We'll go ahead and connect it together. So this is what we have. So because what we want to achieve now is a two bustier, we'll go ahead and extend this dart line to our shoulder. So we'll go ahead now and extend it to our shoulder. So on the under bust, you will go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. On your under bust, On the under bust, you mark half inch on both sides. So what we want to achieve now is the bustier, right? So we we'll go ahead now and connect it together. Now I'll be making use of this inner part of the pattern master to connect my under bust to my waistline. And pattern masters are available at our store. Okay, so we we'll go ahead now and connect this. So this is what we are going to have so now on this shoulder line now we'll go ahead and mark five and a half inches on the shoulder line go ahead and mark five and a half so connect this to your bust measurement we'll go ahead now and connect it to your bust measurement once you are done with that you go ahead and close your shoulder that Go ahead and close. Now and close our shoulder dart. You close the shoulder dart. Automatically, your bust area is going to pop up. You can see how yeah I've popped up because of the bustier shape, right? Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. So in today's video, we are going to make a simple video on how to cut off shoulder bustier with a shape 
mermaid dress okay so we are going to be having our off shoulder buster with a shape mermaid dress and in this mermaid dress where we have our a shape we are going to be mixing two fabrics together to achieve a mermaid dress so if you are interested in learning how to achieve this then this video is for you don't forget now wow close your shoulder that now is automatically going to pop up now you will now go ahead now and mark your measurement so our bust measurement is 13 inches go ahead and mark our bust measurement 13 inches our waist measurement is 12.25 Our hip measurement is 14 inches. Now, for the mermaid part of the dress, dress, the number of inches you deduct from the hip measurement to your knee measurement determines how you are going to get the shape, right? So you can go ahead and deduct about 2 inches, about 2.5, 1.5, 1 inch. It totally depends on how you want the shape to really come out so i have 14 inches here i'm going to go ahead and deduct two inches so i'm going to have 12 inches so i'll go ahead now and mark that on my gown length we've gone ahead now to mark it also on the gown length so you go ahead and connect what you have here to your knee length Length, you go ahead and connect it to your waistline. Go ahead and connect it to your waistline, and then you connect your hip line. Sorry, to your waistline. Connect your hip to your waist, and then your waist to your bust line. Now, because what we want to achieve is a tube dress. Go ahead and determine how many inches you want to take off. Now, note that the number of inches you take off totally depends on you and how deep you want it to be. So, I'm going to take about 6 inches off. I'm going to take about 6 inches off. I will go ahead now and extend this line. Once I've extended the line, I'll go ahead and connect my bust measurement to this point. Now, because the neckline I want to achieve is a sweet... Now, because the neckline I want to achieve is a sweetheart neckline, I'm going to go ahead now and give it my sweetheart neckline as my center front this way. So I just went in to curve it just to give it the sweetest shape. So this is what it looks like. And I'm also going to show you guys how to achieve the mermaid effect, right? But before then, let's go ahead and cut this out. Cutting it out, this is what we have. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and open it up at this point, which is our waistline, so that we can differentiate our two parts where we have the bustier and we can work on the mermaid part. So I'll go ahead now and open this up. So once you open that up, you are going to have two pieces this way. So let's set aside where we have the mermaid. So we'll go ahead now and cut out these darts. That's where we are going to have our two bustier. This is what it looks like. This is the lower part. Where we are going to have our A-line, our mermaid dress. And like I said earlier, I'm going to make use of two fabrics. I'll be mixing two fabrics to achieve this uh, mermaid A-line dress. Now... Because I'm going to be mixing two fabrics together, I'm going to show you guys how to achieve it if you are not mixing your fabrics together. So, if you are making use of one single fabric or you are making use of two fabrics, you will still achieve that, okay? What we want to achieve now is the mermaid part 
of this dress, right? So we have our basic part and then I added like another piece of pattern paper to the side. Now you will discover that I added it above my knee line. This is our knee line and then I added it above the knee line. So what we are going to so what we are going to do now is you go ahead and determine how many inches you want to make for your panel. So this is the pattern paper we are adding for our panel and this is like the basic um, gown right so this panel determine how many inches you want to add to it now note that the number of inches you add to it determines how full it is however you should also consider the amount of fabric you are working with when you are determining how many inches you want to use for the panel so for me I'm going to make use of nine inches I'm going to make use of nine inches so I have my nine inches here okay I have my nine inches here now I will go ahead now and connect my nine inches to my knee legs where we added the panel from now we we'll go ahead and connect it this way make sure that where you are adding it from you have like a pencil shape so this is what we are going to have so i'll go ahead now and cut this out after cutting it out this is what you have now if you are making use of a single fabric all you have to do is you place it this way you can see that we've gone ahead to tape it together and then you just cut it directly on your fabric but if you are mixing two fabrics together then we'll go ahead and detach this i hope you understand but if you want me to still make a detailed video on how to make use of a single fabric to attach this then you can go ahead and you can go ahead and make a comment in the comment section and i'm going to put up a video on that so i'll go ahead now and detach this so i have my panel separate and then i have my basic block separate so i'll go ahead now and set this aside what we want to achieve now is the back block and for this back block we're going to have like a very long train guys like a very long train so, and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve that. So, go ahead and mark our basic measurements just like the way we have for our front block. Show that to arm or nine and a half. Show that to bust 10 inches. Show that to under bust. Show that to waist 18 inches. Waist to upper hip 6 inches. Waist to lower hip 8 inches. Waist to knee length 18 inches. And then I will go ahead and connect these lines together. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our zip measurement. Go ahead and mark our zip measurement. And I'm going to make use of two inches. I will go ahead and connect it all the way down. Our zip measurement. The next thing we are going to do now is we'll go ahead and mark our dart which is 4.5 mark our dart measurement 4.5 our dart measurement we'll go ahead now and connect it together on the waistline we'll mark half inch on both sides on the waistline we'll mark half inch on both sides Now, the number of inches we took off for the front block is also the number of inches we are going to take off for our two. And then we we'll go ahead and mark our six inches. So I'll go ahead and connect these lines this way. Once we are done with that, the back block is actually very easy. Go ahead and mark your bust measurement, which is 13 inches. Waist measurement 12.25. Hip measurement 14 inches. 
Now, we did not take two inches from our knee length in the front block. You will also go ahead and do the same for the back block. So, we'll go ahead and mark our 12 inches. Now, we we'll connect the lines to our knee length to connect the lines. Now, for the back block, my neckline is going to be straight. So we are not having any sweet tart effects for the back block. So our back block is very easy. So we'll go ahead now and cut this out. Because this is what we have. We'll also go ahead and open this up. Now, if you are making use of a single fabric, you might not need to open this up. But because we want to make use of two fabrics, I'll go ahead and open this up. And this is what we have for the lower part. Now, for this lower part, we want to achieve a very long train at this back side of our dress. We want to achieve a very long train at this zip side. And I'm going to show you how to achieve that. So, guys... Now, we want to achieve the very long panel at the lower part. This is another, another pattern paper and this is our basic pattern paper, right? Now, this is where we have our gown length. This is where we have our gown length. When you are attaching your pattern paper, determine how long you want the train to be from your basic gown. So, if you want it very long, the longer it is, is the longer this part of your pattern paper is going to be. So if you don't want it to be too long, you can reduce it. And if you want it to be extremely long, go ahead and extend your pattern paper how long you want the train to be. Now, once you are done with that, we'll go ahead now and mark the number of inches we'll be taking for the train, right? The number of inches we'll be taking for the train. And for the front block, we took about 9 inches. So it depends on how full you want this size to be. So I'll go ahead and make use of 10 inches. Go ahead and make use of 10 inches and then I'll connect it all the way to where we attached it from. Also, we also want to make sure that we have our 10 inches. So when you are connecting the train together, make sure you have the 10 inches. So this line will come this way. Angular shape. This is what we have. So we'll go ahead now and cut this out. So guys, now for us to cut the upper part, we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two. And then I'll just place my pattern this way and we'll go ahead and cut this out. So, so for the back block now, fold your fabric into two and then we'll go ahead and cut this out. So we are going to have two pieces for the back block. So after cutting this out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Guys, after cutting the back block, this is what we have. We have two pieces for the back block. This is what we have. For the front block, this is what we have for the front block. So you can see. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside of the dress. We've gone ahead to fold this. Um, we are using this fabric let me show you guys the fabric we are using so we've gone ahead to fold this fabric into two after folding it into two we'll place our pattern on it and then we'll go ahead and cut this out so this is the back block now we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two we've placed our back block on it and then we'll cut this out Cutting it out, we are going to have two pieces 
for the back block so we'll go ahead and set this aside so guys what we want to cut out next is the side where we have our gadget and don't forget like i said that i'm mixing two fabrics together so i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric look at the way i folded my fabric in a triangular shape can you see the way i folded my fabric in a triangular shape and i will go ahead now and place this this way so once i place it out this way i will go ahead and cut this out so guys, the next thing we are going to do now, this is the front block, we'll go ahead and couple it together so that we can have a single piece. So once you are done coupling it up, this is what it looks like and you can see the bustier effect that pops up already. So this is for the front block. So for the back block now, this is the two pieces for the back block, I've gone ahead to turn it with lining. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and fix in our darts. So I'll go ahead and stitch my darts for the two pieces. What we are going to do now is we are going to take the upper block of the front block and then we'll stitch it together. You can see the beauty is coming out already. So we'll go ahead and stitch it together to give us a single piece. So guys, after joining it together, you are going to have one single piece for the front and also one single piece for the back, right? Because you've gone ahead to fixing your zip. So the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and use your bust measurement, waist measurement and your hip measurement to couple this up to give us a dress. So once I'm done with that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. 